Hey guys, thanks for coming in for a late night video. I am on to my night owl excursions again, but I had to bring you this live because I was opening it, opening it and I was just overwhelmed with excitement from what I found. And I had been wanting to bring you a jewelry jar that was also a gift, a jewelry bag that was also a gift, and I hadn't been able to do it and I was thinking I was gonna record it, but then I got this wonderful friend mail from Guillermo and I was just so, so excited. I actually called my husband and my daughter from downstairs and I was like, look what I just got. And starting with this wonderful card, guys, and it says, I have to read it to you because it's just so sweet. It says, true friends are like diamonds, bright, beautiful, valuable, and always in style. So glad we're friends. I hope one day we can meet up or have a huge meetup with close friends from around the country. Hi to everyone. Love and kisses, Guillermo. Oh my, my gosh, he's just the sweetest man I have ever met. The people that I've met here through YouTube have been so amazing, so incredibly nice. I just can't even believe it. So it was a huge flat rate box with all kinds of goodies, starting with C's candies. I got a huge box of C's candies. I never even go near that store because they're so expensive and so good. But my husband and I already broke into them. My, my daughter got one too. I can't even think of which is my favorite, but the toffee is, I think, my favorite. I think I'm going to take a bite right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they are so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I've only had these candies when they do samples, like at Christmas, I didn't realize how good these candies are. Oh my goodness, and toffee is my absolute favorite, but it's assorted. One pound of C's candies, I mean all kinds. We've been jiggling them around all day. But I'll let you take a quick little peek at them. That was just part of it. I had one that tasted like a glorified Hershey's with almonds. Oh my gosh. But this chocolate is true gourmet. Oh my goodness, Guillermo, thank you so much. All right, as if that wasn't enough. You know Guillermo loves his Vegas, right? I've never been to Vegas. My kids went to Vegas with my sister when they were younger because I couldn't afford to go. So she took them for me. Sisters are amazing, aren't they? So she took them to Vegas with her, and they had a good old time. But I have never been there, and they've been there many times. Guillermo loves to go. Well, he sent me a piggy bank to start saving for Vegas, <laughs> which is what I should do, right? And then I, I just thought it was the cutest thing. And my daughter says, did you open it? I said, no. She said, look. So she opened it, and out pops 20 bucks. And he says, your first Vegas, Vegas bet is on me. Oh my gosh, and she says, we are gonna start saving. We're gonna start saving so we can go to Vegas. <laughs> I was so happy, that is so sweet. Okay, so that was another thing from him. Then this gorgeous tapestry bag, guys. It is so pretty, it is just so amazing. I love these small little messenger bags. Oh my gosh, he's just so amazingly thoughtful. And I thought it looked a little bit like that pixelated camo. I thought it was so cool, but then it kind of looks like a old masters or something too, doesn't it? Well, he filled it with jewelry, of course. <laughs> so look at this gorgeous choker, guys, of Mother of Pearl. This is one of the things that was, let me bring the lights. I mean, I was so excited I didn't even get everything already. There's some better lights, I think. I cannot believe this beautiful necklace. I thought it was a hairpiece, but it's a little corded wonderful statement piece. Look at that. You could you could possibly wear that as a tiara. Isn't it amazing? Okay, so that was one thing. And then I started to unwrap all these little things. So I said, no, I got to go live with this. This is just, I can't contain my excitement. I have to share it. <laughs> so here's another beautiful, beautiful necklace, guys. It's like some kind of um, intaglio, I guess. It's like carved on the opposite end there and it's little flowers. I think they look like irises. 
That is so beautiful. It's got a little tag. I don't know what it says. Looks like it says Napier, actually. Doesn't that look like it say Napier? Yeah, I think that's Napier. That is so beautiful, Guillermo. So that's one necklace. And then there's another little pouch here, another little wrapped up thing. Isn't he the sweetest ever? He is just so thoughtful out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Oh, the matching earrings. Oh my goodness, look at that. These are vintage, guys. They're clip and twist back. And the other one must be in here somewhere. I was so excited, I just moved everything quickly over here. It's probably still in the other little bag. Oh my goodness, because they were here in this little, here it is. They were in this cute little Asian pouch. Isn't that amazing? Oh, these are beautiful. I've never seen anything like this from Napier. Have you guys? Look how precious with the matching pendant. Wow, this is a gift, guys, from Guillermo. He's a subscriber, but he's also a content creator. He started making wonderful videos, unboxings, and he works in the, for one of the, what is it? one of the sports teams in San Francisco. So he does a lot of beautiful vlogs from there as well. Be sure and subscribe to him. Then he sent me this gorgeous little key ring with the initial T on it. Isn't that cute? He loves Vegas. And then here's another pouch. Let me see what's in here. Oh my goodness, and the bag. Look at that gorgeous bag. Oh, there's more in the bag. Let me pull out what's in the bag. Oh my gosh, he's incredible. I am really loving this little messenger bag. That is really cute. Hi, Faith Robin, how are you? You haven't been to Vegas either? My daughter goes a lot. Her and her husband go a lot, and they, they stay at the fanciest hotels, and they love it. And I hear it's worth every dime to, to go over there. I hear people love it. One day I'm going to go. I'm going to start saving now that I got my first bet on Guillermo. Okay, this is Sarah Cov. These are pretty, guys. Look at that. Kind of like a little flame design or something. And they have like, what do you call that? That milgrain work, I think it's called, or that illusion work. So it looks like it has diamonds. That's awesome. They're clips as well. Those are different. I believe that says Sarah Coventry. Thank you so much, Guillermo. I love these. Oh, those are really nice. I'll wear my hair up and wear some clip, clip earrings like those. Okay, let's see what's in here. Yes, I want to go to eBay opening too. eBay open one day too. It's always in Vegas, isn't it? And I've been wanting to go there for, oh my gosh, since as long as I've been on eBay. Since they, they didn't even used to call it eBay open. Oh, wow, look at these. These look like a pair that I have in gold tone that are Whiting and Davis. These are awesome. I don't see a mark on them, but they are so cool. Look at that. Little Cobra chains. Wow, those are cool. Those are really nice. Let me put these over here. And so nicely packaged. They're so sweet, Guillermo. Oh my gosh, that chocolate, guys. I already had two. <laughs> and my daughter took like three upstairs, and so did my husband. Thank you so much, Guillermo. We're enjoying the heck out of that chocolate. Look at this awesome piece. This looks so 20s. This looks, somebody was saying something looked very Gatsby. This looks Gatsby to, Gatsby to me. Absolutely so slinky. And I've never seen a tassel style that's short this is only like 18 inches guys that is beautiful oh my goodness Guillermo I don't know where you scored this beauty but it is so pretty look at that fabulous chain and it's vintage you can tell it is oh my gosh I'm gonna wear that and I love the fact that it's short like that I like to wear long necklaces right but with my with my lanyard, everything kind of gets in the way. I really have to coordinate things with my little lanyard, and that's going to be perfect. Oh, I got another bendy. Remember we got one the other day? I'm calling it bendy, but I think they're called snake something. That's what this one is. Look at that, and it's got a little decorative bead on it. 
Oh, these are so cool. These are so cool. <laughs> and people wear them like chokers, right? They can do things like that to them and just like put them around your neck, honestly. Or they can wear them long and then I guess you could even twist them into a bracelet. These are amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so, so cool. So that's what I got from Guillermo, guys. Still munching on the toffee. Mm, oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. And I don't normally eat on camera or anything, but I want to give you a true picture of the yumness in my mouth right now. This is a bag that I got from Makeup Zombie when I, I purchased something a couple of weeks ago. And she said, I sent you a bag for fun, <laughs> for a gift. And I said, thank you. And I had not looked it through it. I had forgotten about it. I had forgotten about it, gotten busy with going back to school and all that. Oh, my ring fell off. So let's open it now and see what's in it. Because it's basically friend mail, too. She just sent me a little extra bag of stuff. How fun is that? Ooh, look at the cloisonne beads. These are so pretty. I like these. I, I just recently found some in a jar, but I think they were bigger. And I like this size. Nice clasp on there. And what a pretty color. Hi, Makeup Zombie, Miss Liz. I'm opening the bag you sent me a couple of weeks ago. Plus, she sent me these rings. Oh, my gosh. And I was going to do a video on... on uh, I may just do it in just a minute. Or I'll try to share it with this band because my other subscriber that I that didn't want to be mentioned that sent me the Tiffany bracelet the other day, she also sent me all the stuff I sent you. And she sent me this ivory band. As part of the gifts, she sent me a few earrings and some Avon pieces, and I showed them to you. They were beautiful. And Joan Brody was asking about ivory the other day, and I don't know if it'll show up, but you can really see Schrager lines when it's ivory. And that's what I was going to try to show her. And if it doesn't show up, I will try to do it next time. But I kept telling her it's like looking at, at the flesh of, for lack of anything else to describe it, like a fish or salmon meat. Can you see any of that, guys? You can really see it in there. See the hash cross march, ha, cross hatch? They call them Schrager lines, though. You can see a little bit of that texture in there. That's real ivory. That's what real ivory looks like. There you go. You can see it now. So that's what my other subscriber sent me that wanted to remain nameless. I'm opening the one Liz sent me, the bag Liz sent me. But Liz also sent me some rings. And uh, I bought something, but she sent me some extras. And I believe this is hematite. It's such a beautiful, beautiful hematite. But it reminds me of a ring my mother had. She used to love white gold. She didn't like silver, and she didn't like yellow gold. And she had a silver, no, I mean a white gold ring with a black pearl. And it was a true black pearl. It wasn't like the peacock pearls or the Tahitian pearls. And it reminds me of this one so much, Liz. I'm so excited about it. And then she sent me the other band here that's like a moonstone on it. And then this one came in a bag, and it's Labradorite. So I thought they looked really nice all stacked together today, and I put them all together right there. So I believe this is the ring I bought from Liz when she sent me this bag. So it's a beautiful bag already with some cloisonne. I also just got through opening a beautiful gift that Guillermo sent me, including a piggy bank to start a Vegas fund with 20 bucks in it for the first bet. Oh my gosh. And candy, as if the candy wasn't enough. I'm still eating the candy, guys, and it's what, 10 o'clock? I just can't stop. I'm telling you, I have never bought that candy. I've only gone in there for the free samples. Because we have one at the mall. And they also used to have them at, at certain Epicurean grocery stores. The C's candies. So good. Oh, that's cute. Radiate. I love it. Kind of a rose gold color. That's pretty. And then this has different kinds of beads 
They look like some kind of lamp work for sure. I see maybe some kind of pearl there. What a pretty tassel. Thank you, Liz. It's so thoughtful of you. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's so cute. Kind of chunky and whimsical, isn't it? That's really cool. So I was not gonna do a video tonight. I had recorded one for y'all for tomorrow, but I could not stop wanting to tell everybody about it. <laughs> I literally called my husband from the room upstairs where he was watching TV. What a pretty shell piece. It's got some silver embossing on there or some kind of transfer. Looks like, um, what do you call it, bamboo. And then these are shell, that's gorgeous. That is a pretty necklace. Abalone shell it looks like, wow. Isn't it? Gosh, I'm glad I never tried it before. And it'll, it'll probably be the last one because I know people talk about them all the time especially around Christmas, and they sell like the little four packs, right? And I know if you go in there, they give you a free sample. So I've done that, but I've never actually purchased any. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe you found this. This is amazing. The Space Needle. That is too cool. That looks like it's also on a shell. This is definitely, I would say, a vintage piece. It looks like maybe something that would have been sold when it first opened or something, you know? It looks like a souvenir piece. And it totally looks like the 70s to me. That is so, so cool. Yeah, I'm telling you, Liz has amazing bags. Not only does she find amazing bags, but in her showcase, she sells amazing bags. And she was kind enough to sell some for... Sandy's uh, benefit auction this weekend. So thank you so much for that, Liz. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a nice piece too. What is that stone? I know it's probably not amber, right? Because I run into this, uh, the brown one, I run into it before. And then the other is quartz. It looks like rose quartz, the pink one. That's beautiful. Thank you, Liz. With little brass... Um, stations there, spacers or whatever. Look at that. It's even kind of like gathered and so cute. That is a pretty piece. I like that one too. Carnelian. Is that what that is? Because I found one the other day at the Goodwill that had a multitude of different colors and one was that orange and I always want to say, oh, it looks like amber, but amber is not cold. Amber has that plastic feel. So no, it's not amber. Ooh, this one's gorgeous too. This is pretty. Very nice. I like that. Very nice. I think those are roses. And awesome spacers between these leather, leather cording here. This one is from Chico's. So you know, that's a great brand. It wears so well. Chico's jewelry is made really well. I've got an earring here. I'm sure the match is in there somewhere. That's pretty. And then, oh my gosh, some crystals. Crystals and feathers. How oh, cute. This, is, this looks a little Gatsby too. And these are real crystals. Oh my, wait, wait. I think the feather is just stuck there. I thought it was part of the necklace. What in the world? This is so funny. I think it is. Look. I think it hooks there. It does, right? Oh my gosh, this is so different. Look at that. And then I think it hooks right here with the feather. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> I know. I wasn't going to come on live. I told you I wasn't. But I got some friend mail from Guillermo. And I was going to do this bag tomorrow. I was going to record it. Because Liz sent me this bag a few weeks ago and I hadn't had a chance to open it. And then I got so excited with C's candy, a box, a pound of C's candy. Where's the box? Yeah, I have to go live before I eat the whole box. Oh my gosh, my husband. 
going crazy with it too. It's so good. Mm. Another one. Crystal. Cool. Mm. Wow. This is pretty, Liz. Look at this one with an interesting clasp as well. Okay, is this bicone? <laughs> Somebody told me the shape and I always forget. That's gorgeous. These are crystal. I think they're called bicones. I could be wrong. This is amazing. Thank you, Liz. Oh my gosh, and what a nice length. That's like 20, 24 inches long and graduated. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that big old one in the center there. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Guys, let me know if Donatella shows up in the chat because she wanted me to contact her and I couldn't find her on Instagram and I think I found her on Facebook. This is gorgeous too, Liz. This is pretty. Another short one that I can wear to work. I'm telling you that that lanyard I have to wear really gets in my way. It cramps my style. But this one is nice. That is so pretty. Hi, there you are, Donatella. I sent you a message on Facebook. So if you need to contact me, there, there. I hope I found you. If not, you can always contact me on Facebook or on Instagram. And my name on Instagram is the same. And on Facebook it is too. You can find me at Thelma Thrift. Or, and actually, it's, it's actually linked in all of my um, videos. Look at this. Oh, I thought it was a fish at first. It's a beautiful angel. Look at her. And she's holding a little crystal bicone too. Look at that. She's articulated. Look at her legs. Copper brass and some kind of base metal she's so sweet i think she's asleep or she's very happy her eyes are closed how precious look at this oh my these are crystals too guys but i think there's an earring in here can we get the earring out wow oh my goodness this is nice and hefty too Look at that beautiful blue color. Oh my word. And I, okay, I got stumped on the other shape. I certainly don't know what these are called, but they're amazing. That is so pretty. This one has a double C, I think, on the mark. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. And then a red one, also crystal glass. Don't know what this stone is. This one even has some kind of, oh my gosh, like different colors on the inside of it. Definitely cranberry colored. That's gorgeous too. Don't think I see a mark on this one. Oh my goodness, Liz, thank you, you're so kind. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Now we have some freshwater pearls and crystals. And this one looks like it may have popped on us, Liz. That happens. I just pulled one out the other day at one on one of my jars. And the string of pearls had a had a knot that was coming apart as well. But that's not a that's not a bad fix. They already tied it up actually. <laughs> Oh, how cute. Freshwater pearls and crystals, guys. Look at that. That is pretty. And then here is a white one right here. And this one had the matching earrings. Right here is one. Oh my gosh. I just had it a minute ago. I know I put it away. I'll find it in a second. And there's these earrings. 
These are beautiful. This looks like a white buffalo style. Some kind of stone. So pretty. And then the like Tahitian colored pearls, faux pearls in there with crystals as well. That's a beautiful white necklace with matching earrings. Here it is. Here's the earrings. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Just a little late night friend mail <laughs> jewelry jar because I just could not contain my excitement. I did not expect anything from Guillermo at all. Wow, look at this. And I've been anxious to open this jar from Miss Liz as well. This is gorgeous. That's a glass drop there. And it's kind of a kind of a topaz, but also kind of a green color. I would say more of an olive color. That's a beautiful drop. And not only that, but then it's embellished. This chain is amazing. Nice. Then we have some of this crafted stuff that's so pretty. Let me get this out of here. Purple. Look at this. That is cute. I love this wire wrap stuff too. That is so pretty. Look at that. Wood beads, pearls and glass, seed pearls, faux pearls, metallic metal, me metallic purple. Really pretty beadwork on here. And a nice toggle. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Then we have these little, like a lariat style with little tulips, right? Is that, is that a tulip? Oh, that's cute. On a herringbone style or a flat curb, I think. Wow, that's pretty. I think this is Premier Designs. No, it looks like it says something else. Sarah. I believe it says Sarah on it. No, Avon. It says Avon. That's pretty. And the little inside is gold. So the little, I don't know what they're called. The ringers inside are gold. So it's a multicolored there. Two tone calla lilies. Did I say tulips? Lilies, of course. Wow, very nice. Hey, here is another beautiful necklace. These are glass. Very pretty colors, like a smoky quartz. Then kind of a peach, and then this is kind of a... Wow, this is a nice one. Looks a little bit like a rutilated quartz or something. But I'm not sure. It could just be glass, but it's gorgeous. A glare in there right now, but wow, that is super nice. You think it's glass? I think it's gorgeous. That's all I know. That is amazing. And then we've got this gorgeous Asian piece, guys. It is, I don't know if it's jade, I'll have to look at it under a loop, but it's beautiful with Asian writing. What a beautiful piece. Oh, I love that. On a rope chain. That is beautiful. I love it. That is a beautiful piece. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy late night videos. <laughs> if you do, be sure and subscribe and hit the bell. Sometimes I come on at late at night. Sometimes I come on in the afternoon but if you want to find a fresh video if you hit the bell you'll be notified when there is a fresh one wow this is cool i have to kind of twist it back in here but this is a really interesting necklace because of the colors in it i like the way they put the light blue yet they both have kind of um a B effect to it. 
oh my gosh, especially these, look. I guess it would be called, or look at that. They're like white on one side, A, B on the other, maybe a grayish hint to it as well, hue. And the same thing here on the blue ones. Look at that beautiful play of color in that. Wow, that is so cool. And then here's a sweet little bracelet with crystals as well. Gold tone, they're so beautiful. Glass crystal beads too, dangles. That pretty sparkle. I have to put that on. Look, it's even got a tiny little crystal dangle. Liz, thank you so much. That was so sweet and generous of you to send me a bag just for fun. This is beyond fun, beyond fun. And to my wonderful, beautiful, amazing friend, Guillermo, I cannot tell you how you have made me feel. I mean, gosh, <laughs> you are just so sweet. And my little Vegas fund already started and candy. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. It's not, it's just lack of words. It really is lack of words. You guys are just so kind and so sweet. And, and not just to send me gifts and candy and make me fat, but everybody who shows up for the, you know, for the videos and says wonderful things and gives thumbs up and, and you know, it's just the positivity that I get from you guys. I'm telling you, it emanates through all of those digital things that I wouldn't even know how to start explaining. But all of those vibes, I'm going to call them digital vibes, <laughs> they come through. They come through from you to me. And I hope that I can give a little bit of that back. But I am just honored and, and humbled by everything that, that I just showed you guys. And wow, I'm just grateful. Thank you, Guillermo. Thank you, Liz. And thank you, all of you guys out there for watching me gush and oh, from you know I just I don't have the words to thank you guys I really don't but have a wonderful week and blessings to all of you prayers to all of you who need it and I know we all do we all need prayers especially our friend Vanessa right now is going through some hard times with her some you know tough times with her her family member or loved one that's ill so keep her in your prayers for us we we really um, want to send those prayers and and good vibes out to her as well. Love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Good night.